Hello again. Um, in the process of getting the super engine together, and we're going to try to reuse his uh, generator. The problem is that it is saturated in oil and needs a good cleaning. So I'm going to show you how to disassemble the generator, clean it up, reassemble it, and uh, test it to make sure that it's good. Let's go. So the first thing I want to do is get this uh, this cover off, and it's got two very long bolts that go all the way through the body and connect to your back plate here where the uh, rear bearing is housed. But first thing I'm going to have to do is take the brushes out. There's two of them, one here and one on the other side. There's a spring clip that holds this side on, and then it's screwed or bolted in here. Normally I feel like they're flathead screws. This has what appear to be quarter inch, uh, quarter inch uh, bolts. So we're gonna take uh, the springs off and the ground strap and then these will slide right out. And then once I have both the brushes out, I should be able to uh, undo these long bolts and sneak this guy out of here. So while I am going to show you how to do this, I think it's probably worth mentioning that I don't know what any of these parts are called aside from the brushes and like a, just some other things. Um, it's going to be a big windy coil looking thing that I'm going to pull out and I don't know what that's called. So, uh, you know, bear with me here. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just going to get this spring clip off here. Just take it out like that and leave the spring clip on. That'll make it a little bit easier to reinstall later. All right, let me do the other side and then I'll show you how to take this guy off. Okay, just got both the brushes off. We're gonna take this guy off now. Okay, so with those two bolts out, should be able to, oh, yeah, okay. I guess there's things it's still bolted to. And then that comes off very easy. So that screw, or bolt rather, that I just took out, went through this hole on the bottom and connected to this little tab down here for the, uh, the D plus post. So now, I'll set this guy aside. Right. So now, the rest of this should come right out the back. And from what I remember, this is a magnetic case. Okay. So then you've got whatever the hell this thing is. So before I put this back together, I'm going to take a wire wheel or some steel wool and clean up this surface and this surface that the brush is right on. Make sure the bearings are good. Clean up uh, the end caps and everything. We're going to clean up the case as well and uh, probably clear coat this and then uh, slap everything back together. Uh, I've got the case, um, what's the word, painted, drawing, let me try to take this guy off of here, um, I can't really remember how to do that, so I may not do it at all, but the 
doesn't sound okay. So I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna clean this up. steel wool does better on the copper. I think I'm just going to wipe this guy down. I'll probably uh, take this into the tank and get all the soot off it and everything. And then once the body's dry, we can start reassembling it and then test it. All right, let me start the reassembly. I'll take this whole guy here. It does look like there are hangs in the body to locate the plate, or at least one. Okay. Take the front one. That's gonna go. Remember to get your little finger lined up with this guy. We can do the brushes. You're gonna pull your spring out of the way, which can be a real pain in the ass. Totally meant for that to happen. Okay, so all that's back in. That's a good indication that it's probably gonna work. So now I gotta get some test cables and a good battery, and I'll show you how to hook this up in order to uh, test it. All right, so got a good battery. I'm gonna put vice grip here on the negative terminal so I have a couple of places to attach to. I'm going to take one ground cable so that's grounded and we're going to take the other end of this. Typically these bodies have a little ground screw here in the back. We're going to attach that to. Then you have two posts here, a D plus and a DF. You're going to take another ground post, ground cable, and you're gonna attach it to DF. If you can make it do so. Okay. Then, you're gonna take your hot wire, red, and you're gonna hook that up to the positive side of the battery. And you're just gonna touch this to D plus, and it should, it should spin or do something. You don't wanna hold it there because you can fry the thing. But as long as I, oh, I see. So that's how you know it's a good generator. Well, that's how you do that. Uh, hopefully soon we'll be uh, putting it back on the engine and maybe starting it. That'd be fun, huh? Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks, bye. <laughs>